Bakasyon. Bakasyon. Pero may naman pag uh, ganyan, bakasyon ay eh, out of town, di ba? Pero yes. ako plano kong mag ano, yung swimming lesson para mas matutup oh. ako. Oh. Oo. Oh. Hindi pa kasi ako ganun kaganyan yung lumangoy. For you or for your kids? Pati na rin sa mga okay. kids. At least parang bonding moment nyo na rin. Mm. Oo. Oh. Ako, syempre, of course, mag-travel. Ganyan din, summer classes for, for Nala. Ang gusto ko rin mag-training ano, naman ng ano. Sports, pero namimili pa ako kung ano sports. sports. Yeah, okay, Baka eating mag- sports lang yan. Siguro mag-gym na lang ako. Wala naman sports. Hindi sports yun. Oh, oh. Everyday ko na ginagawa, hindi na ginagawa. sport ang pag, na, pag-gym. Mm. Mm. But anyway, speaking okay. of training, alam yes. mo ba na uh, mas maganda siguro kung yung hindi lang kayo, pati yung mga kids nyo, syempre, na uh, mag-training na lang kayo, pumasok kayo sa mga training school kaysa mag-pumunta kayo ng ano, Correct, beach or diba? something na... Kaya, yeah, pas- at least after mm-hmm. summer, merong matututunan kayo yes, and yung mga kids nyo. Yes, right? so importante yun. And speaking of training, nako batiin muna natin ang ating mga kasambahay. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Rodel at muli namin kayong bibigyan ng mga tips at syempre ideas kung ano-ano nga ba mga negosyo ang in na in ngayon. Mm-hmm. Ano ko naman si Natasha? Hindi lang ang pagbebenta ng mga produkto ang pwede nyo maging negosyo. Aba kung meron kayong skills, pwede nyo itong gamitin para umasenso. At hindi lang kayo basta aasenso. Fulfilling pa ito dahil ang skill na ituturo nyo ay habang buhay na makakatulong sa ibang tao. I'm Jenny. At syempre, ngayong episode na ito, yan ang ating pag-aaralan at aalamin. Iba't ibang mga training and tutorial businesses ang aming i-introduce sa inyo. Kaya samahan niyo po kami at ating pag-usapan ng inyong yeah. kwento sa pagnanegosyo dito lamang sa inyong business school on air ang Bread and Butter! Ang Excel Driving School ay ang dating F1 Driving School na naitayo noong January 2007 ng mag-asawang Mario at Maricar Yacat. Dahil sa copyright patent ng F1 na Formula 1 ay binago nila ang pangalan. Galing sa isang driving school ang mag-asawa at nang di na sumapat ang sahod para sa pamilya ay naisipan nilang magtayo ng sarili nilang driving school sa tulong ng dating katrabaho sa kapital na 500,000 pesos. At higit sa lahat ay ang skills at knowledge sa driving ay pinasimula nilang tatlo ang negosyo. Na first day, naka-enroll kami ng isa 100 pesos. So, eh, natutuwa naman kami kasi opening na meron kaming nakuha ang isa 100 pesos. Tapos ako nagtuturo. So, nag-start na ako magturo the next day. Eh, kailangan kasi sa pagtuturo yung talagang estudyante. May enjoy niya yung driving niya pagkatapos matututo siya. So, yung isang estudyante namin na yun, hindi namin alam na may hawak pala siya na isang malaking kumpanya. So, isa, isa siya sa boss doon. Lahat ng gusto mag-aral, binato niya ng binato sa amin. Kukuha ka ng car. So, nag-financing lang kami, nag-down kami. Almost, siguro mga 100,000 yung dinown. Then, yung office na pagbukas. Nag-start kami ng isang unit and then, the, siguro mga one month may get ng paglabas uli kami ng ng unit, naging dalawa, naging tatlo. Ngayon, 40 na yung branch namin. Sa kasalukuyan, ay may labing tatlong driving schools ang accredited sa Land Transportation Office. Bukod pa dito ang mga nagsusulputang driving schools ngayon. Asa yung gas, brake, and then clutch. Okay. Diyan lang tayo ah. Ito kalaking kompetisyon, mahalagang pagkakaroon ng marketing strategy para mapansin ang iyong negosyo. 
sa Excel Driving School, ang naging diskarte nila ay ang Money Back Guarantee. At sa panahon ito, na madali na makakuha ng mga skills. Patok pa rin ba ang ganitong negosyo? Maganda siya, lalo na yung nagkaroon tayo nung Grab at Uber. Kasi ang daming gusto mag-aral ng driving dahil yun yung magiging means of in, ano din nila, income. So, ay, malakas siya. Pero uh, hanggang ngayon naman, okay pa rin siya. Pero seasonal talaga yung driving school. Ang pinaka-peak namin is summer, yung walang pasok yung mga bata. So, yun, nag-aaral ng driving. Yun ang maraming maraming talaga. Excel Driving School offers a refresher's course of 5 hours actual driving sa halagang 2,000 pesos. Meron din silang 30-hour course na nagkakahalagang 15,000 pesos. Ito ay kinapapalooban ng extensive trainings. Bali yung pinaka nakakatuwa dito sa uh, yung magtayo ka ng business na kagaya nito. Yung mga estudyante na babalik sa'yo or magpo-post sila sa Facebook na papasalamat uh, tapos na may picture na dala-dala na nila yung kotse nila. So yun talagang natutuwa kami na marami kaming naturuan na estudyante. Hindi naman kasi po pwede yung basta magtatayo ka lang ng driving school. So una, Ah, kailangan mo sumunod sa mga patakaran doon sa, sa gobyerno, kailangan mag accredited ka ng LTO. Tapos yung mga driving instructor ay eh, kailangan pumasa sa exam doon sa pagiging driving instructor na makakuha ng certificate. Mahirap kasi yung hindi ka susunod, magiging kolorum yung dating. So siya rin maapektuhan sa mga estudyante. Isang requirement para makipagsabayan sa corporate world ay ang kakayahang matuto ng English. Kaya naman lahat ng paraan ay ginagawa ng iba't ibang lahi para matuto nito. Kaya yan ang susunod na training business na atin tatalakayin sa pagbabalik ng Bread and Butter! Sa World Economic Forum on the East Asia 2015, isang chief economist ang nag-forecast na ang total gross domestic product o GDP ng Pilipinas ay aakyat sa $500 billion by year 2020. Ito ay dahil sa Business Process Outsourcing or BPO industry or mas kilala natin sa tawag na call center. Kaya lalo nang susumikap ang mga Filipinos from all walks of life na maging magaling sa salitang Ingles. So, it's indeed a brilliant idea na magkaroon ng English Training School right now gaya ng American Institute for English Proficiency. American Institute for English Proficiency was established on January 21, 2007 by business partners Christopher De La Cruz and Paolo Valentino Magbuhos. They train professionals and even non-pros to have an excellent English and communication skills. For the first three to five months, we were struggling. So what we did was my business partner and I, Vin, we pretty much decided we would change our market. So we went into training professionals. And as soon as we changed markets, we were starting to have more enrollments because now we have people who had money, who would pay for the enrollment. Ten years later, we have foreign market as well. We also have uh, go people who go abroad, not just to work, but to migrate. We learned how to deal with different markets. Now, we recently went back into call center, partnering with a recruitment firm. So we don't have to be the one looking for call center trainees. We already have a partner who will look for those trainees. We will train them and we will get paid as soon as they're placed. The advantage for me was that I was already a public speaker. For me, one of the best ways to achieve in business is to communicate effectively. So you need to know how to speak well so that you can convince others to work with you. So I came from a background of theater, debate, public speaking, and sales and marketing. So my communication skills, I would say, was a little above average at that time when I first started. Having an English skill is obviously a must, but it is definitely not enough. You also need to have a business skill and a perfect connection. Because if you don't know how to run a business, you should be partnering with someone who knows how to run a business. I, I'll give you an example. I've had teachers who trained here to become great teachers. And as soon as they felt like they had all the skills, they tried to run their own school. However, within a few months, they had to close down because in addition to being skilled, you also have to run a business. And the essential elements for running a business would include 
For example, marketing. You have to know how to reach your target audience. You have to be good in social media, good in traditional media, or just traditional marketing. If you can only teach, then who'll do that for you? Well, you have to hire people who could do that for you. And then if you don't have the capital to hire people, then you end up closing your branch because you have the skill, you have a facility, but no one's there. One of the achievements I would say would be not just from the financial side, but from the student side. The achievement I would say would be having my students email me or write to me thanking me because I was able to help them get a job, I was able to get them become more confident, I was able to help them in different aspects of their lives. So that I would say that's the primary achievement that I have and it's, it's very personal because it's what satisfies me as an entrepreneur is that feeling that to a certain degree I helped somebody. American Institute for English Proficiency offers various courses depending on the individual's need and skill level. They also have private class and corporate class. So if you feel like this is the right business for you, listen to what the expert has to say. Number one, skills in marketing, pretty much business skills. If you don't have business skills, I would recommend partnering with someone who has the business savviness. And number three, passion. It's easy to give up even if you're very skilled. And when I felt like giving up, I had to ask myself, why am I doing this? And the answer was, because I'm passionate. It is, it is what makes me happy. It is when at 3 a.m. in the morning, when something's difficult, I can still do it tomorrow because it's what I love to do. Without passion, so easy to just give up. Balak mo bang maging flight attendant someday? Kilalanin ang first test na accredited flight attendant training center in the Philippines. Dito lang yan sa Bread and Butter! Alam niyo ba na mataas ang demand not just here in the Philippines but also around the world for flight attendants? Pero almost 1% lang ang pumapasa sa mga airline recruitments for FA dahil sa lack of skills and capabilities sa mga aspirants. That is why Dr. Helen O. Mogan, a former flight attendant, took the opportunity and put up a training school that would help fellow Filipinos and FA aspirants as well. Wings Institute of Global Careers Incorporated is the first and only TESDA accredited training center for flight cabin crew courses in the Philippines. It guides and prepares flight attendant aspirants through their courses which includes aviation English, image enhancement, basic airline theories, passenger service, and interview success. Ang owner nito na si Ms. Helen Mogan ang tanging pumasa out of 4,000 applicants sa requirement na isinagawa ng Philippine Airlines noong 1970. When I retired in 1997, I immediately uh, taught in universities and colleges. And I saw the demand also for the growing, you know, flight attendant population all over the world. And my friends in the airline industry would tell me, Oh, Helen, you know, there are very few passers. And we really need to educate people on how to uh, become a flight attendant. So I, I, you know, I was still a flight attendant and I conceived the idea of putting up a school for flight attendants. I put this uh, school so that I will be able to graduate more flight attendants. I want the Philippines to be a spot, the hub for uh, the flight attendants all over the world. And so that, you know, airlines will not recruit from other <laughs> nationalities. I want Filipinos to be number one up there, to be the stars, to be the flight attendants of the world. That's my aim. When you have this kind of uh, employment, you know, even if contractual, the economic benefit will be higher. This is good for our country. This is good for every individual who would pursue this uh, profession. Hindi matitenga ang ganitong business dahil mayroong high demands of flight attendants sa ating bansa. Kaso, mayroon ding high rate of rejections dahil sa kawalan ng sapat na trainings. When you see in the newspaper that a certain airline is buying or ordering 
airplanes, they need flight attendants. We have what we call the one, the OCAR, the uh, crew complement uh, of the airplane. If the airplane is big, like they will need 11 times 3. That's the number of operational crew that they need. So if you're buying a 300, a 100 aircraft uh, uh, from Airbus or from other companies, then you would have to do the numbers. Hi everyone, I'm Gia Neteralde. I'm a former student here at Wings Institute of Global Careers Incorporated. What I'm wearing right now is an ensemble from Pierre Cardin that was used by Philippine Airlines in, during the late 70s. This uniform was acquired by Wings to showcase in their Flight Cabin Crew Museum. I gained more confidence. It, it made me feel like I have an edge among the other applicants. I've learned more here in Wings than I learned in college. Uh, it was one-on-one -on -one sessions, so it was more. They were more focused with me and how to improve on my personality, my looks, everything. So behind us are various uniforms from the 1940s to 2014. Yes. Of Philippine Airlines. Of Philippine Airlines, featured here at Wings Flight Cabin Crew Museum. We will focus on your posture. Posture, okay. In walking, in standing, and in sitting. Mm -hmm. okay. Why? What's wrong with that posture? Yes. Okay. Malian girl. Malian. Mali ba tong posture mm -hmm. ko? Yes. Kailangan. Hindi po pwede mag flight no. attendant. Yes. Oh, okay. No? Okay. The correct posture is stand straight, chin up, chest out, stomach in. Chin up, ah, bakit yung ano? Chest to be floor level. Okay. Ayun, okay. floor level. One foot a little bit forward than the other. Parang beauty queen. Yes. And with that warm smile. Correct. Hindi pa rin. No. Masyadong OA. Oo. Pilip na pilit. How about Kailangan you, Mr. Normal Basha? Lang. Give me that correct posture. Okay. <laughs> okay, not too hard, not too hard on your fist. Okay, make your pants as comfy as possible. Yeah. Yes. Okay, don't <laughs> flirt. You're not supposed to flirt. Para kasi Miss The airlines now would only pick a picture for a picture frame. Somebody who is already near qualified, okay, or qualified 100% for the job. And you can only do that by going through training like ours because our standard is like that of an airline. Ayan mga kasambahay, nandito naman tayo at kailangan natin ma-experience kung ano ba ang tamang pag-serve sa mga pasahero. At kasama natin ngayon si Ma'am Pauline. Tulungan niya tayo kung paano ba talaga yung pag-serve sa loob ng aeroplano. Oo, proper serving. Paano ba? In the airlines, kasi meron kaming iba-ibang uh, service. Uh, in first class, you do a lot of things. Mm. And sometimes, yung mga uh, flight attendants are being trained um, in first class. Parang meron kaming first class specialization. Oh. Of course, uh, like this one, this is an example on how we serve uh, our um, first class passengers. Okay, simpisahan also. natin. Hindi po po okay. dalawa talaga po nagkupo. Oo, oh. oh. dalawa yan talaga. So, of course, we have different kinds of wine here, okay. di ba? Kunyari so, si passenger. Hi, sir. Mm -hmm. For, pag first class, you mm -hmm. always address them by their names. names. For example, Mr. Reyes or mm -hmm. Mrs. Reyes, di ba? Mm -hmm. Ikaw nga. <laughs> Would you like to have something to drink? Or sometimes you can um, introduce yourself first. Hi, I'm, I'm your Angelina flight Jolie. attendant. Yes, <laughs> I will be your <laughs> flight attendant. I will be your flight oh. attendant for today, for, for this today. entire flight. Yes, yes. very good. Very That's good. how we do it. Let's get up with it. Let's get up with it. Okay, so, good. Then. This is what we call the uh, indoctrination training. Okay, we, we give them the basic ideas and information on how to become a flight attendant. We have civil air regulations, we have the general studies on, say, emergency drills, uh, aircraft fam, uh, everything that an airline requires them to study. Wings has a learning museum dedicated wholly to the jobs of flight attendants. It also has classrooms equipped 
with different parts of airplane and highly trained teachers from Philippine Airlines. First thing you will have to find, uh, learn is how to use a belt. Okay. Hal ma mahalaga yan. Si yes. Sinito dog mm -hmm. collar, ha? baka gawin mong dog collar, hindi dog collar. <laughs> Kakalo ka ka. So you show the passenger on your left and right, the seat belt. Mm -hmm. Each seat, alright. Ito, yung, yung malaki pong buckle nasa okay. haw sa right. Yes, it doesn't matter. Basta one mm -hmm. end is buckle and one end is the partner. Fasten by simply pushing the belt together. Both ends together. <laughs> Galing ko. Okay. <laughs> to unfasten, lift unfasten, top of buckle and, pull. and pull, pull the other end. Huh? Okay. We have different time frames uh, depending on what you need. For the university students that are still studying, we recommend the three days. Uh, and then for a very good candidate, you can go for the ten days. But, you know, we have to assess you on that. The normal course is 30 days. And normal course... If you enroll in a normal course, all right, fl uh, flight cabin crew course uh, in a 30-day uh, program, you have a free English course, right? And the outcome will be uh, an exam in the uh, test of English in international communications. So that's a bonus, and nobody's doing that. Only us. Well, uh, right now uh, it's more or less 45,000. That's not. We don't call it fees, we call it an, uh, an investment because uh, when you get a job, you know, first month you are paid. So what is, what is that investment compared to a four-year course and you don't get any job? <laughs> Here you, in, you invest time, 30 days, and if we find you a job after one month, you know, you will be able to pay your parents or whoever paid for that your investment. So the, your ROI in the end will become very high if you invest on this training program. At ano naman ang may papayo ni Ms. Helen sa mga aspiring flight attendants? So if you are still young now, you want to be a flight attendant in the future, these are the things that you should do. Align your teeth, uh, take care of your skin and your eyes. Make sure that you are not colorblind. Make sure that you reach, you know, 212 cm or Five, uh, five feet three inches for women and five five for men. Uh, you have a body that is commensurate to your, your weight should be commensurate to your height. Um, you should study more English because nowadays uh, the first, e one of the first exams that you will undergo will be the English uh, proficiency. And if you don't pass English, then your chances are nil or zero. According to my study, there is really a need to train and educate people who want to become flight attendants so that when they are going to become flight attendants, they are, they're, they are prepared for the job, for the training, for the job. Because sometimes, even if you're accepted, you're nominated and, and taken in by the airline as a trainee, remember when the airline takes you in, you are not yet a flight attendant. You know, it takes time to, you know, before you graduate as a flight attendant. I have paid back whatever society has given me. I feel contented. I can sleep at night. And that's why I continue this advocacy because I know it will help a lot of Filipinos. And please, I want the Philippines to be the recruiting capital for flight attendants. Uy, dami ko natutunan niya para ako to. Ba, hindi lang businesses, pati siyempre yung skills, kumbaga na dagdagan. So driving nga lang nga eh. It's actually my first time to drive. First thing that bad, ha? Well, thank you. Oo, ang galing niya for first time. First time. Ito main street siya. Actually, yun nga kagandahan ito. Kasi yung before, meron sa akin parang nagturo. Sabi niya sa akin, pumunta kami sa sementeryo. Kasi nga tau, alam mo yun, hindi prone to bungo. Yeah, pero hindi siya yung real life. Pero iba yung dito sa Excel. Kasi doon talaga mismo sa kalsada. Sinaba ka agad. Oo, may mga pas. Buti na lang hindi ako nagpanik. Kaya ang galing mo. Congratulations. 
Jesus. Actually, ang galing siya. Bote niyo ako, susunod. Oo. Ay, hindi, wag na, wag na. Kaya ako naman, si English naman, di ba? Parang grammar, improper diction, kailangan, di ba? Hindi lang basta ka English ng English, may proper way. Para yung pag-deliver o pronunciation. Public speaking, no? May natutunan ka rin. Public speaking, sa hosting din, di ba? Ang dami mo palagang pwede matutunan doon. Ako naman, sa pagiging flight attendant, hindi pala siya napakadaling gawin, di ba? Kasi may proper posture, speaking din kasama, tapos yung safety ng pasahero, kailangan mo din i-take into consideration. So, ang dami-dami mo talagang kailangan tandaan at matutunan bago ka maging isang flight attendant. Hindi mo siya mababa. Kahit magbasa ka na magbasa ng YouTube, manood ka na manood ng YouTube or mag-Google ka na mag-Google sa internet, hindi mo siya basta matututunan. Mm -hmm. So, dapat talagang merong real-life application. Okay. Eh, sa kahit, kahit hindi ka pala 5D, pwede. Ha? May pag-asa pa, ha? Oh, diba? Basta madami stretching. Pa <laughs> stretching lang ng kamay, di ba? Kahit lang ba ang usapan o edad? <laughs> Ay, may ganon! Anyway, siyempre, itong mga entrepreneur natin na naka-interview, eh dapat, eh, kumbaga, tingnan din natin sila. Dahil yung skills nila, ginawa nila itong parang puhunan para gawing negosyo, di ba? Maganda yung naging mga ways nila on how to be entrepreneur. Kaya nga sa mga kasambahin natin, kung kayo ay merong, kung kayo ay balak nyo magnegosyo, subukan nyo siyempre rin pasukin yung mga training or tutorial services. At syempre, may sure market na kayo na makapagbibigay pa sa inyo ng life skills sa ibang tao. And just remember, you must have genuine concern and real compassion in providing these services. Okay, time to go for now. But until next time, mga kasangbahay, muli nating pag-uusapan ng inyong kwento sa pagnanegosyo dito lamang sa inyong business school on air ang Bread and Butter! Bye! Ang inyong skill ay uh, pwede ng pagkakitaan, pwede pang maging paraan upang matulungang kumita rin ang ibang mga tao. And there you have it mga kasambahay. See you again next week. Para po sa mga katanungan and anything na gusto nyo pong ipabot sa amin, you can reach us on our social media accounts, facebook.com slash bnbtv and at bnbtv for our Twitter and Instagram accounts. You may also watch our previous episodes at www.untvweb.com and email us your comments and suggestions at bnbtv at gmail.com. But before we move on to our next program, uh, Bread and Butter would like to thank first the following. Of course, Ms. Helen Mogan, the owner of Wings Institute of uh, Global Careers Incorporated, uh, to Mr. Mario and Mrs. Maricar Yakat of Excel Driving School, and uh, to Mr. Chris De La Cruz, uh, from American Institute uh, for English Proficiency. At uh, syempre po, huwag nyo rin pong kakalimutan, uh, i-visit po ang aking blog site, www.nognogindecity.com. Do follow me in my social account, social media accounts at Rodel Flor de Lisa. Syempre, para makompleta po ang ating Intelligent Primetime TV experience, kung hindi na natin malalaman uh, ang health issues na pag-uusapan, kasama ang mga experts. And tonight, makakasama po natin si Doc JM. Hi, Doc JM! <laughs>